Good morning, everyone. Today is the 6th of July, 2023, Thursday morning. I've entitled this video, I Will Rise God. You know, a few years ago, I wrote a book called The Lies of Free Will. And I showed in there that the doctrine of free will started with Satan himself, Lucifer, when he said, I will arise and be as God. It amazes me the philosophies that some people hold on to. And it's really Luciferian doctrine is what it is. I actually had someone recently tell me, you know, when you bring me on to speak, treat me like the second coming of Christ. You actually told me that. <laughs> Can you believe that? And later told me he was born again Christian. Can you imagine telling someone else to treat you like the second coming of Christ? Wow. Now I know what he was trying to say is I was supposed to build him up and exalt him and tell everybody what a great success he was. Pharaoh said, look at all these things I have done. And what, what happened to Pharaoh? He crawled around like an animal. His nails grew out like, I'm well, not Pharaoh, but Nebuchadnezzar. I don't know why. I get Nebuchadnezzar and Pharaoh mixed up. Pharaoh's the one that God said, For this same purpose have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee, that my name might be declared throughout the whole earth. But that's what, that's what these people that have money and have, have gotten some wealth and success, it's gone to their heads. They think they're little gods. They think they're the second coming of Christ. <laughs> you know? There's a scripture I, I'd have to look up, but it says I'd rather be a pauper in the corner of the house than a wealthy man in a mansion or something to that effect. If I had to tell people well, I was the second coming of Christ, I wouldn't want to, I would not, I could not do that. That's terrible. Think about it. To actually come across that way. And, you know, mind control, you know. Another thing this fellow said is perception is reality. There's a lot of misperception out there. You know, there's a lot of misperception out there. To think that you can come become anything you want to be, to pick yourself up by your bootstraps, you need to read the book of Job. What happened to Job? He had no control over his fact that everything was stripped from him. All of his family, his cattle, all of his riches, everything was taken from him and his wife said told him to curse God and die so you know I remember I went to a Zig Ziglar uh, thing one time and Zig Ziglar was up in front of these thousands of people and he had this little pump up there he says all you have to do is prime the pump prime the pump prime the pump you know People want to take the glory in themselves. They want to give themselves all the glory for their success. And they define success by money. That's how they define success, by money. I don't define success by money. You know? Now, in the world standards, that's what it is. Power and money and fame and, and all of that. But what is true success? Is 
it's not money, I can tell you that. It's not money. And there's a lot of people that they actually believe that they are successful and they are the cause of all their success. They take credit for anything that has happened in a positive light in their world. They take they take credit for it. Success is defined as accomplishment of an aim or purpose. Look, if you accomplish anything in life, it's only by God's grace. It's only by God's grace. You can't take credit for it. You can't take another breath. If God didn't give it to you, He could take everything from you instantaneously, including your family, your wealth, everything. You know? And there's a scripture that says God is the one that gives the power to get wealth. You don't have the power to do anything. And I'm getting sick and tired of these people promoting this garbage. <laughs> you know, look at Joseph, everything he went through. Look at what he went through. He was sold into slavery. He was accused of rape. He was put into prison. But God had other plans for him. Deuteronomy 8:18. 8, but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto thy fathers as it is, as it is to this day. It's amazing how people have this gentleman talked about perception and perception be reality he says you need to put that above your desk perception is reality <laughs> you know what let me tell you what you ought to put above your desk fella you ought to put Deuteronomy 8:18. Thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore unto his fathers as to it is this day. That's what you should put above your desk. This gentleman talked about perception. I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> That's misperception to believe that you are the second coming of Christ. That's misperception. Talk about cocky. Talk about arrogant. Talk about egotistical. Talk about conceited. Talk about self-centered. Talk about the exaltation of the creature. That tops it all, isn't it? Wow. You know, that's what all these self-help books have done. This humanistic psychology has done. It's given people a false perception of themselves. Total false perception of themselves. Psycho-cybernetics. How to win friends and influence people. Think and grow rich. Kawasaki. Rich dad, poor dad. It's all hogwash, folks. It won't stand up against the Bible. It's all Luciferian doctrine. That's what it is. And I'm not going to subscribe to it. And if this gentleman listens to this message, maybe the good Lord will actually get, get use it to get his attention. He may just scoff and say, That's bad, Larry. That's bad. <laughs> It's all right. We don't have to agree. But anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. Self-exaltation of the creature is running rampant in our society. Why do you think we're 
What's, what do they call this month? Pride month. Pride. You know? They worship the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Oh, may the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.